Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shopformvideo.co.uk with the second and final part of this bleed out tutorial. Now if you follow part one, you should be looking at something like this, which is nice, but it's not going to win you any visual effects Oscars. So let's get this one wrapped up. Our first step is to add an adjustment layer to the text placeholder comp. So right click in the layer panel and select new, then adjustment layer, and we'll call this one roughen and blur. Then grab the roughen edges effect from your effects and presets panel and drag this onto the roughen and blur layer and change the border value to 20. Then set the edge sharpness to 0.1, the fractal influence to 0.5 and the scale to 12. Then add the fast blur effect and set the blurriness to 3, select horizontal only from the blur dimensions and tick the Repeat Edge Pixels box, and this will give your layers a slight horizontal grain. And that will give us a nice cloth-like edge to every layer that lies underneath, including your Blood Drops animation. Now we'll add a slight bleed effect over time. So right-click on your text or logo layer, go to Layer Styles and select Stroke. Then twirl down the Layer Styles properties, set the color to white, and add a size value keyframe of 1 and an opacity value keyframe of 0 to the beginning of the timeline. Then we'll move the CTI to about the 10 second mark and add a size keyframe of 18. Then at the 14 second mark, we'll add an opacity keyframe of 100%. Then you can select all of these keyframes and hit F9 to smooth out the animation, and this will create the effect that the blood is gradually soaking into the bandage. Now we can start to build our final composition. So create a new composition that's 18 seconds long and call it Final Comp. Then drag the bandage texture comp you created earlier into this one, and then put your text placeholder comp on top of it. As you can see, there's still a bit of work to do. So let's start by creating the logo reveal effect. Go to your effects and presets panel and find the CC burn film effect and add this to your text placeholder layer. Now conventionally, this effect is designed to simulate film stock getting jammed in a projector and melting, which was a pretty common event back in the early days of cinema, but I digress. Before we start keyframing, we need to change the transparency behavior. So find the invert alpha animation preset and add this to your text placeholder layer. And this will reverse the transparent parts, which is pretty handy. While you're in the neighborhood, we'll need to add the tritone effect and then set every value to a blood red RGB setting of 116, 12, and 12. Put the CTI at the zero second mark and go to the CC Burn Film settings in the Effects and Presets panel. Now you may need to experiment a little here as your settings may be different to mine, so drag the burn value upwards until you get to the point just before it's becoming visible, and then create a keyframe to lock that value in. Then put the CTI where you want the transition to finish and scrub the burn value until your logo or image is completely covered. Select the second keyframe that you've just created and hit Shift and F9. This converts it into an Easy Ease keyframe, which makes the animation look a little bit more natural. Then open the Graph Editor view by clicking on the button shown here. Now we want the effect to apply slowly first and then in a rush as the blood catches hold of the bandage. So grab the Bezier handle for the second keyframe and drag it downwards until you have a steep upward curve that looks a bit like this. And to finish it off, right click on the text placeholder layer and select Blending Mode Linear Burn, which will blend it in with a bandage layer beneath. Now to wrap it all up, we just need to create that last transition effect. So go back to your text placeholder comp and add a new white solid, which we'll call Bleed Out.
and then position this layer just underneath the roughen and blur adjustment layer. Once again, add the CC burn film effect along with the invert alpha preset and the tritone effect. Only this time we'll just set the tritone colors all to white. Put the CTI where you want the transition to start, which in my case is around the 9 second mark, and again create a keyframe for the burn value that's just before the point where the effect becomes visible. Now bear in mind that you can also change the origin point for this effect with the center value. Just click on the crosshairs and then click on the point in frame where you want it to be centered on. Then move your CTI to the very end of your timeline and create a burn keyframe that's set to 99, not 100. Don't ask me why, but a value of 100% makes the effect disappear entirely, so make sure you only go up to 99, and when we return to our final comp, you'll see that gives us a full transition where the bandage is completely soaked in blood. Now you'll notice here that the effect hasn't run completely up to the edges, so we'll just select the text placeholder layer, hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale properties, and just increase this to 103%. That's pretty grisly stuff, but it should be handy for horror title sequences or Dexter fan films. Now remember that you can download the project file for this for free from my website, shortformvideo.co.uk. If you do end up using it, please let me know. I love seeing these effects out there in the wild. As always, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.